Chemistry is the area of science that deals with matter. Chemistry is sometimes called the central science because it overlaps with so many other branches of science. Chemistry is an important subject for a lot of different careers, including dentists and doctors and pharmacists, chefs, even hairdressers study chemistry. So what are we gonna learn in this video? Well, first, a bit of the history of chemistry. Then we'll talk about the five different branches of chemistry. And finally, we'll learn what matter is made of and how we measure matter. The roots of chemistry are quite ancient. They go back for millennia to an archaic practice called alchemy. Alchemists sought to turn one type of matter into another. The goal was usually to turn some sort of common substance into something more precious, like turning lead into gold. Even though alchemy wasn't really science, it did play a pretty significant role in the development of chemistry. Alchemy practices helped to develop modern laboratory techniques, and it even developed some of the early understanding and classification of the elements. So when and why did alchemy become chemistry? Well, it's really hard to say exactly, but there was a bit of a transition in the 15 and 1600s when scientists began using new empirical methods to do experiments and make observations and gather data. This was called the scientific revolution, and it was during this revolution that the scientific method was born. There are five branches of chemistry inorganic chemistry, which is the study of compounds that do not contain the element carbon. And then there's organic chemistry, the study of compounds that do contain carbon. And physical chemistry, the study of chemical phenomena that can be explained with physics. Analytical chemistry, using quantitative data, that is data involving numbers, to study chemical compounds. And finally, biochemistry, the study of chemical compounds and processes in living things. So back to that stuff called matter. What is that? Well, matter is everything in the universe that we can kind of touch and feel and, and experience with our senses. So this avocado, this this is matter right here because I can touch it, I can feel it, it's taking up space and it has some mass to it. And so the definition of matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Mass is a measure of how much matter there is and we use units like grams and kilograms and we can use a device like this balance to actually measure the mass of this avocado. When something takes up space, we say that it has volume and we measure volume using units like gallons and liters and centimeters cubed. And so I can just simply measure the amount of space that this avocado is taking up. So did you learn everything in this video? Well, if you did, you learned chemistry is the study of the matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Mass is how much matter there is, and volume is the amount of space the matter takes up. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe to the Science Classroom and learn more about chemistry through short, simple video tutorials.